Hello everyone, good to see you again. Well, you know the drill, we did the book, now it's time for the workbook. This is American English File, second edition, book three, workbook, part 1A, mood, food. Part one, vocabulary, food and cooking. Exercise A, circle the word that is different. Explain why. For example, we have number one, beans, grapes, peach, raspberry. The others are all fruit, okay? Now I need you to stop the video and do it yourself. No help from anyone. Very good. Now let's do it together. Number two, we have beef, pork, lamb, and salmon. All right, so salmon is different. The others are all meat. Very good. Number three, beet, cabbage, pear, pepper. All right, which one is different? Pear. The others are all vegetables. Well done. Pear is a fruit. Number four, eggplant, lemon, mango, melon. Which one is different? Of course, eggplants. The others are all fruit. All right. Number five, crab, mussels, beef, shrimp. Of course, beef is different. The others are all seafood. Number six, cabbage, cherry, zucchini, cucumber. Which one is different? Of course, cherry. The others are all vegetables. Well done. A very good start. Now it's time for part B. Everyone complete the crossword. Now, this one is my favorite. It's about cooking. Do you remember? Just like the book. For example, number one, it's grilled. All right, let's do this one together, me and you. All right, so in here we have baked potatoes, yeah? Roasted chicken, boiled egg, and fried egg. And the last one, steamed broccoli, yeah, steamed. But we're not done yet. There's one more exercise. Follow me. And all the way to part C. Complete the sentences with the words in the box. For example, we have canned, fresh, frozen, low fat, raw, spicy, takeout. For example, number one, canned tomatoes usually last for about two years. All right. Again, let's do this one together. Me and you. Number two, I don't feel like cooking. Let's get takeout for dinner, right? Number three, are there any frozen peas in the freezer? Number four, I don't really like raw fish, so I never eat sushi. Number five, Hannah's on a diet, so she bought some low-fat yogurt to have for dessert, right? Number six, they eat a lot of spicy food in Mexico. Oh, you got that right. Number seven, we buy fresh bread from the bakery every morning. And that's all there is to it for vocabulary exercises. Everyone, part two, pronunciation, vowel sounds. A, write the words in the chart. We have fish, tree, cat, car, clock, saw, bull, boot. All right, take your time. All right, very good. Now I need you to listen and check. Let's do it. File 1A, pronunciation, B. One. Fish, I, I. chicken, squid. Two. Tree, E. Beef, peach. Three. Cat, a, crab, mango. Four. Car, r, carton, jar. Five. Clock, a, chocolate, sausage. Six. Saw, a, raw. Salt. 
Seven. Bowl. O. Uh. Cook. Sugar. Eight. Boot. O. Uh. Soup. Tuna. Great, but we're not done. Pronouncing difficult words. Everyone, write the words. Take your time. I'm going to wait for you. Now let's do it again with me. File 1A. Hmm? Pronunciation. D. 1. Boiled. 2. Cabbage. Hmm? 3. Spicy. 4. Roasted. 5. Grapes. 6. Fruit. 7. Baked. 8. Melon. 9. Zucchini. Great. You did great. Brilliant. And as you can probably guess, it's time for grammar. Simple present or present continuous. Action and unaction verbs. Okay, look at these sentences. If they are right, check. If they are wrong, X. And write the right phrases. For example, does your girlfriend like seafood? Check, it's correct. Lucy's in the kitchen. She makes a cup of coffee. X. It's incorrect. She's making a cup of coffee. All right? I did too. The rest is yours. Stop the video. Take your time. No rush. Do it. Very good. Now I want you to check your answers with your friends. Put your heads together. Great. Now it's my turn. Number three. It's incorrect. You should write, do you eat out every weekend? Number four. It's correct. I don't know what to cook for dinner. Number five. Again, it's incorrect. You should write, do you think the fish is cooked now? Number six. Again, we have lunch with my parents every Sunday. Number seven. It's correct. My mother's in the yard. She's mowing the lawn. Number eight. It's incorrect. I don't want any potatoes with my fish. Thanks. Number nine. Again, it's correct. Do you prefer steamed rice to fried rice? All right, so there are two options. Which one do you prefer? And the last one, again, it's incorrect. Jack's on the phone. He's ordering some pizzas. When? Right now. Well done. All the way to grammar exercises, part B. Now, in this one, I'm going to help you. So let's do this one together. Complete the sentences with the simple present or continuous form of the verbs in the parentheses, right? Our neighbors grow all of their own vegetables. Number two, my mother doesn't usually cook on the weekend. Number three, do you want to come for lunch on Sunday? We're having roast chicken. We are having, so it's future. You can use it for future plans. Number four, we aren't going out tonight because there's a soccer game on TV. Number five, do you usually spend your birthday with your family? Number six, the restaurant serves delicious mussels at lunchtime. Number seven, how often do you eat out in a typical week? Typical, normal. Number eight, I'm not having an appetizer because I'm not hungry, right? Number nine, we don't often buy steak. And the last one, my boyfriend's on a diet, so he, he is cutting down on fried food. Cut down, consume less, you know, you decrease it. Cut out, you just totally give it up. You quit when you cut out. Great, everyone, part four, it's time for some reading. Everyone, read the article once and put the headings in the correct place. For example, number one is done. C. How should I start the day? All right. As always, I'm going to wait for you. Take your time and do it. Six and a half hours later. Well, all right. You're back. Now let's read it together. The truth about healthy eating. 
Food experts are always telling us what we should or sh and shouldn't eat, but they often give us different advice. Our food writer, Teresa Gold, has taken a look at all the information to figure out what is the fact and what is fiction. Very good. Let's see. The first question, how should I start the day? A typical American breakfast uh, of fried eggs, bacon, toast, pancakes, and orange juice will certainly stop you from feeling hungry, but it's high in calories, which means that you'll gain weight if you eat it regularly. A healthier option is to have is to have just an egg, boil it instead of frying it, and eat it with a piece of toast made with whole wheat bread. Breakfast cereals are very high in sugar, so if you like cereal, have granola with no added sugar. You can also get your first vitamins of the day by drinking a glass of freshly squeezed orange juice. And the next question, number two, D, you guessed it right. Do I really need to eat five a day? Fruits and vegetables contain the vitamins and minerals. We need to stay healthy. But five is actually a fictional number thought up by an American nutritionist. She looked at what, it, what the average person ate and doubled it. According to more recent research, the right number is actually eight. The research shows that people who have eight pieces of fruit and vegetables a day are much less likely to suffer from heart disease than those who eat three. Next question. A. Can I eat apples? All right, let's see. This particular fruit had, has had some bad publicity because dentists say it can harm our teeth. While it's true that apples do contain a little sugar, they're also a source of fiber. Nutritionists say that we need about 18 grams of fiber a day. And a medium apple, peel included, the peel, the skin, contains about 3 grams. Some varieties contain more fiber than others. So you should choose carefully. And the last question, number four, of course, B. How can I prevent serious illnesses? The key to good health is a balanced diet that contains fat and carbohydrates as well as proteins, vitamins, and minerals. Fats may be high in calories, but they also contain vitamins. According to the World Cancer Research Fund, you should only have about 500 grams of red meat per week. A steak is about 100 grams. One type of food on its own won't kill or cure you, but eating the right amount of the right food will stop you from getting sick. Very good, you did great, but we're not done yet. I need you to read the article again and mark the sentences true or false. Again, it's time for me to wait. Tomorrow. Okay. My turn again. A typical American breakfast every morning isn't good for you. True, it has high calories. Number two, the best breakfast is any type of cereal. False. Number three, an American nutritionist carefully calculated the amount of fruits and vegetables we should eat. False. Number four, we should eat more than five servings of fruits and vegetables per day. True, the actual number was around eight, I think. Number five, apples contain a lot of sugar. False. Fiber as well. Number six, all apples have the same amount of fiber. False. Fats can be good for us. True, they have vitamins as well. And number eight, you can eat as much red meat as you want to. No, about 500 grams of red meat per week. And a steak is about 100 grams. Great. Now, again, there are some highlighted words. I need you to check them in your dictionary and teach them to your friends. Be the source. Be the light. Let's continue. And it's time for the last set in the house. Listening. Everyone, listen to a radio call-in program about the article in exercise 4, the reading. Check the callers who completely agree with it. Okay, let's listen. File 1A. Listening.
Welcome back to the show. Today, we've been discussing Teresa Gold's article, The Truth About Healthy Eating. And now it's time for you, the listeners, to tell us what you think. The lines are open, so all you have to do is call 1-800-555-5792 and talk to one of our operators. That's 1-800-555-5792. And it looks like we have our first caller, Kevin from Miami. Tell us what you think about the article. Well, I'd like to say that I don't agree with the article at all. I don't eat many fruits or vegetables, and I'm perfectly healthy. I haven't called in sick to work for years. I can't remember the last time I had to stay in bed. This five-a-day thing is garbage, isn't it? Um, thank you, Kevin. I think we have another caller on line two. Kate from Chicago. Are you there? Yes, I am. Well, I'm sure the writer knows what she's talking about, but it isn't that easy. I mean, it's hard enough to get kids to eat vegetables at the best of times, but with all these burger and pizza places around, it's almost impossible. Once they get the taste for junk food, you can forget the five a day, that's for sure. Thanks, Kate. And who's our next caller? Um, my name's Derek, and I'm from Washington, D.C. And what do you think, Derek? Well, I'd like to say that I think that the article is right. I mean, the writer talks about eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, which is something that we've always done in my family. My mom's a great cook. She always uses completely natural ingredients in her cooking, and we're almost never sick. Thank you, Derek. Let's go back to line two again, where we have Rosie from Boston. Rosie, what's your opinion? Well, the writer seems to think that all fruits and vegetables are good for you, and I don't think that's true. I mean, what about potatoes? They contain a lot of carbohydrates, which can make you gain weight if you aren't careful. It's even worse if you fry them. And then some fruits, like melon, for example, have a lot of sugar. Personally, I think you should eat a little of everything and not too much of one thing. Thanks, Rosie. And that's all the time we have for today. We'll be speaking to the writer of the article after the break. To be honest with you, I like the music so much. I don't know about you. <laughs> Just kidding. Now, who totally agreed with the article? I think it was Derek. Now, I need you to listen again and answer the questions, all right? Very good. File 1A. Listening. Welcome back to the show. Today, we've been discussing Teresa Gold's article, The Truth About Healthy Eating. And now it's time for you, the listeners, to tell us what you think. The lines are open, so all you have to do is call 1-800-555-5792 and talk to one of our operators. That's 1-800-555-5792. And it looks like we have our first caller, Kevin from Miami. Tell us what you think about the article. Well, I'd like to say that I don't agree with the article at all. I don't eat many fruits or vegetables, and I'm perfectly healthy. I haven't called in sick to work for years. I can't remember the last time I had to stay in bed. This five-a-day thing is garbage, isn't it? Um, thank you, Kevin. I think we have another caller on line two. Kate from Chicago. Are you there? Yes, I am. Well, I'm sure the writer knows what she's talking about, but it isn't that easy. I mean, it's hard enough to get kids to eat vegetables at the best of times, but with all these burger and pizza places around, it's almost impossible. Once they get the taste for junk food, you can forget the five a day, that's for sure. 
Thanks, Kate. And who's our next caller? Um, my name's Derek, and I'm from Washington, D.C. And what do you think, Derek? Well, I'd like to say that I think that the article is right. I mean, the writer talks about eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, which is something that we've always done in my family. My mom's a great cook. She always uses completely natural ingredients in her cooking, and we're almost never sick. Thank you, Derek. Let's go back to line two again, where we have Rosie from Boston. Rosie, what's your opinion? Well, the writer seems to think that all fruits and vegetables are good for you, and I don't think that's true. I mean, what about potatoes? They contain a lot of carbohydrates, which can make you gain weight if you aren't careful. It's even worse if you fry them. And then some fruits, like melon, for example, have a lot of sugar. Personally, I think you should eat a little of everything and not too much of one thing. Thanks, Rosie. And that's all the time we have for today. We'll be speaking to the writer of the article after the break. All right, put your heads together. Very good. Number one, which caller thinks that some fruits and vegetables are unhealthy? Of course, it's Rosie. Uh, she talks about potatoes, I think. Uh, she says that they have lots of carbohydrates. Number two, which caller says that most children prefer fast food? B, Kate. Which caller eats very little fruit? A, Kevin. And which caller is very healthy? because he or she eats a lot of fruits and vegetables? Of course, C, Derek. And these are some words for you. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, protein, protein, awake, awake, oily, oily, powerful, powerful, relaxed, relaxed, sleepy, sleepy, stressful, stressful, beneficial, beneficial, ready-made food, ready-made food. Well done. You did great. And we just finished the first workbook exercise of the series. Everybody stay tuned for new videos. And if you have a question, you can comment down below and I will get back to you. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. I see you soon. Your greatness is coming. Believe in yourself. Bye-bye.